It is very difficult to single out one man among so many great leaders, but I will. There are those who take their fame and their power and simply stay in their lane and watch important issues pass them by. And then there are those who realize that what they have built can lead to something much greater for everyone. His music has changed the way we look at issues, has helped forge peace in war-torn nations, and today he joins us as an example that one man and one voice can lead to millions of voices and can, in fact, change the world. So ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce to you an inspiration to all of us, Bono. Wow, sun in the eyes. Well, the woman I'm, uh, the woman I'm about to introduce to you is a hero, a heroine for all kinds of reasons. In Liberia, she smashed the glass ceiling, became the first female president on the continent of Africa. Became a Nobel laureate. Her prize was for peace. She's a hero because when she took office, um, in that country uh, of Liberia. There really wasn't a country there. Um, after a few hundred years of mismanagement by men and nearly 20 years of civil war between men, Liberia was mostly rubble. Homes and buildings crumbled, roads impassable, water undrinkable, electricity, forget it. Try to imagine this city where where none of these essentials are around for even a day. You got a glimpse of it with Sandy. Try to imagine a whole country without these essentials and you glimpse what this woman faced on her first day as president. But tonight, after 10 years, there is a country, oh yeah. There's hope of a future, oh yeah. And above all else, there's peace. Peace in a part of West Africa where none thought it possible Governance, where there used to be chaos. A transparency revolution, where there used to be closed door deal making. And the rich natural resources of Liberia are now in her people's hands, which is where we want them. But even now, rebuilding takes time. Even now, only 1% of her people have access to electricity. The Dallas Cowboys, when they play tomorrow afternoon in that stadium, that flinged out stadium, will use more, more power than they have in the whole day. It's okay to boo the Dallas Cowboys in New York. They're booing the Giants right now in Dallas, okay? <laughs> anyway, I visited there a few weeks later and uh, just thought it was the most inspiring place I've ever been under her leadership. The lights are going on in Liberia. So let me introduce to you this most extraordinary woman. Sister Ellen, stopping her brothers from fighting. Mother Ellen, starting the fight for her children. Global citizens, will you please give a New York City welcome to the toughest of minds, the tenderest of hearts, President Ellen Johnson Surley. Thank you. Thank you, Bono. I'm, ex I'm extremely proud of the role that women have played in the change and development of Liberia. Acting as a nonviolent political force, Liberian women were at the forefront of the efforts that ended the civil conflict, and they continue to be leaders in the community on issues from education 
to health care, to the economy. Liberian mothers, sisters and daughters are leaders in government, business, the media, and advocacy organizations. We believe our women have been inspired and have inspired others in the region and around the world. They've done so to stand up for peace, to stand up for justice, and to stand up for equality. Together, Together, we must demand investment in girls' education, access, access to water and sanitation, affordable power. We must empower the next generation to continue to carry on this fight against poverty. Bono, I, ex I accept this award with great humility on behalf of the women of Liberia, the women of Africa, and the women of the world. <laughs>